here now with your first alert forecast. Hey, Stacy. What a great treat for him uh, for today. And here across Colorado, we've seen scattered showers, some of them heavier than others. Lyman just now clearing out this big storm that went through with a lot of lightning and heavy rain just pushed off to the east of this picture. Sterling, we have had scattered showers move through. Most of those have cleared out as well. And here in Denver, we're just seeing partly cloudy skies for the most part. We had some showers this morning and then a few moving through late in the day. We'll still have a chance for isolated storms in through the rest of this evening. Most of those, though, will be across the eastern plains. 70s and 80s for afternoon highs tomorrow. You'll really notice the difference as we change things up with a cold front tomorrow during the day. We're going to have more rain moving through and that's going to affect the front range and the plains. Today though highs in the upper 80s here from Denver up toward Greeley at 89, 84 in Fort Collins, mid 90s for the western slope and down into southern Colorado. At this point we have 86 at DIA, 84 in Aurora and 80 in Littleton. If you're in Commerce City, 88 degrees for you and Right downtown, 84 degrees outside, 33% humidity and winds out of the east northeast at about three miles an hour. So these scatter showers have been moving from west to east across the state. Not a whole lot of action through western Colorado. Most of this has been for the eastern side of things. And here in Denver, we have a few sprinkles here to the south, but otherwise we've had spotty showers pop up. No severe weather here in the Denver area. We did have a severe warned storm around Lyman. That is now pushing off to the northeast of Hugo. And and that warning has expired. Also, the strong storms up towards Sterling and Holyoke have made their way out of the state, and we no longer have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect up here either. So things are improving here across the state. Still a chance for severe weather, mostly up toward the border of Colorado and Wyoming. General thunderstorm activity, a possibility here in through the rest of the night. So we'll still keep an eye out for these storms, but it looks like the, the heaviest showers are over. 60 degrees are overnight low tonight. We'll have those temperatures in the 50s to around 60 degrees for this evening. Evening. And then a cold front will come through tomorrow. So our highs will only be in the upper 70s and low 80s here for the Front Range. First day of school tomorrow for some folks. And uh, the commute forecast includes 60s and some clouds in the morning, 70s for the afternoon with some scattered showers showing up. So here comes that cold front by the morning. We'll see partly cloudy skies first. And then by the later morning hours, isolated storms off to our west. And then it spreads out across the Front Range in the plains, cloudy and rainy into the evening. And this is where we have the chance for stronger storms, everything shaded in green from Denver and Fort Collins down toward Burlington and Pueblo. As for our planner tomorrow, some clouds in the morning, scattered showers a possibility in the afternoon, but those temperatures will be only in the 70s tomorrow. 79 at DIA, 75 in Parker and 75 in Boulder. You'll notice those highs only in the upper 70s from Denver all the way across the plains, 80s farther to our south. Our seven day forecast staying in the 70s for one day and then into the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. Looks like we'll dry things out to into the middle and end of the week. Sunny skies into Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows will mostly be in the 50s for the most part. So looking good. Yeah, definitely much cooler. Yeah, for sure. A nice